Thanks for checking out my Animal Crossing New Leaf series. I'll catch fish, dig up fossils, and pay off debt for your viewing enjoyment. Thanks for making this possible. Before we dive into the wonderful world of Animal Crossing on the Nintendo Switch, I figure why not dive into the wonderful world of Animal Crossing on the Nintendo 3DS, the predecessor, the latest in the franchise for now. My name is Brian Saviano, aka Bricks O'Brien. This is a game series I've never played on video before, and I'm very excited to do so on my fancy schmancy 3DS capture card that doesn't have my logo branding on it, but eventually it will because I ordered a big sticker for it. So, this is Animal Crossing. This is Rover. Uh, there is so much to explain about this game, and it is... Yes, that is actually entirely correct. Awesome. Uh, so, what happens in Animal Crossing... It's, it's a very not game game in a way. Uh, there aren't really any mini games. Well, there are mini games, but there's not like a game game aspect to it. Like, you'll see what I mean. So I got to type in my name. Now, I could type in uh, Benson if I wanted to, but I'm just going to go with my name. And what I love about this game is whenever you type in something, there's a little animal, little chibi voice that's like, Like, they'll do different, like, they'll say the letter it is as you're typing it in. It's really cute. Animal Crossing is very cute. So if you don't like cutesy things, well, you're in for a bad time. But I like cutesy things when done right. So I think it's cool. So you seem like a pretty cool guy to me. I know, right? I know. So, Brian, tell me where are you headed today? Well, uh, what you need to do is enter in your date and time, which should be accurate to the Nintendo 3DS clock. Your name, which will be what people refer you to and a town name. So I'm actually going to put in the town I always do because I'm very unoriginal. I'm going to put Boston because that's where I'm from, even though Boston is a city, technically not a town. So it doesn't really fit. But when I do the uh, Switch game, it'll probably be a little bit different. So you can't change it, by the way. Um, you go to your town via, in this game, a train, and you can look at the map Oh, okay, I forgot about this part of the game. So, you can customize kind of what your map looks like, where before in other games, you just kind of got whatever map you got, and that was it. You'd have to reset the game over and over again to try to get the map you wanted. So, with this, um, I like it because we have all the shops in the upper, you can see it on the bottom screen down there. I like having all my shops at the top portion of the map. And you really you get the whole coast on that side. There have to be a bridge added, like, down there. and over. Okay, all right, yeah. That actually works for me. That's fine. And so if you put no, you can uh, get it changed a couple more times, I believe. If you go to Boston very often, um, I've never been there. I don't remember. It's a secret. It's a big old secret. I was actually in there last night in real life. So, or is it a secret, too? Uh, duh, it's a secret. <laughs> all the dialogue options in this game are pretty good as well. You got what appears to be a one-way ticket. Well, that's it. Could you be moving? Uh, pretty sharp, I would say. There we go. You're definitely a funny one, that's for sure. So you're moving, huh? Someone as interesting as you is certain to dig up some fun in, in a new place. The town of Boston is waiting for you. You're going to have such a great time there. So, you know, you can enter in whatever uh, town or city you want to for a name. It doesn't really matter. But uh, that it doesn't really makes sense when I type in Boston and it's a town and then like oh Boston Station where well, there's no Boston Station in real life it's uh, um, called North Station haven't done this much traveling by train since 2002 or so man that's weird okay good luck that's in reference to the Nintendo GameCube version of the game which I uh, played and I actually played it after I played the uh, Nintendo DS version which there's a lot to explain in general but now uh, Animal Crossing is a game where it implements the real-world clock both time and, and date wise and seasonally so the fact that I am playing this on February 16th 2019 exactly as it is right now it's gonna be snowy on the ground which you know it's kind of snowy in real life but not as much as I would like it to be but you know that's a situation for another day here so you uh Come to this town. What? So, 
That one animal's name is Elmer, which is funny because he's a horse. And Elmer is the name of a glue brand. Okay. <laughs> we got Cherry. We got Elvis. All right. And we have this mysterious creature over here. Who could that possibly be? I have no idea at all. Mayor, we're so happy you're finally here. Um, is this the right stop? Who's this mayor? Who's this mayor? Uh... Oh, come on, quit joking around. You know exactly who you are. You told us which train you'd be arriving on. Uh, that wasn't me. No, you can't fool me. So, uh, minus all the dialogue here, uh, you show up to this town, and for the first time in Animal Crossing, you are the mayor of your own town, where before, you were the mayor, uh, you know, like working for the mayor, or, you know, trying to do all sorts of stuff. So, uh, yeah, this is Animal Crossing New Leaf, and it's a very, there's a lot to do. All right, so we're just looking around the town here. This, uh, mysterious creature, we don't know. Oh, we gotta go to the town hall, I'm sorry. So, yeah, we don't know who this is, but clearly if you have played, uh, Super Smash Bros. Or, uh, have, uh, played Animal Crossing for any of the multiple years it's been out since, uh, 2013, uh, you'll know that's Isabel. And, uh, she is your assistant secretary. Uh, before Tortimer, this turtle guy, was the mayor of the, uh, the town. But now you get to take control of the town yourself. Put some Publix Works projects in and do all sorts of other stuff. Uh, Animal Crossing is a game, it's a unique game in the sense that it works in real time. So, if you wanted to do the Halloween events, you gotta wait until Halloween. Um, there is, like, a thing you can do where you can modify your internal game clock, but I'll talk about that a little bit later. I'm not gonna be doing that, but that's a whole thing that I've done in the past, and it's kinda gets a little rocky. So, I'm kind of ignoring what Isabel is saying right here, but she's basically like, Hey, so, this is a town. Uh, you need a house, and you need to run this place. So, uh, you need to decide exactly where you're going to live, and you need to go to a notorious uh, tanuki uh, named Tom Nook. And that Tom Nook fellow will be the one who uh, grants you a house that you will eventually pay off if you want to, or just be in debt to him forever. It's basically... You know, this game is basically the, uh, the, the all-encompassing millennial dream. Uh, you get to have little animal friends that you have as neighbors, and you have to pay off a house, and you gotta buy stuff, you gotta pick fruit. It all makes total sense. So there's all villagers all throughout your entire town, too. There's Elmer the... <laughs> Elmer the horse. Oh, man. And all the animals talk like this, so you're either going to find it extremely uh, adoring or extremely annoying. I find it pretty adoring. There are settings you can change to make them talk faster and all that. So, uh, just like in real life, also, there's a ton of shops that are up here uh, that all have different functions, but they all open up and close at certain times of the day. So, not any of these places are 24 hours except for the museum, but we'll get to that in a little while. Uh, Tom Nook in the past has been the guy running the shop that's in town, but now he's here and he's gonna give you a house. Or, not give you a house, you're indebted to him for a long time, but, you know. On behalf of the Boston Chamber of Commerce, it feels so weird saying that, I'm pleased to welcome you. So, Brian, you're here today because you want to build a house? Yes, very good, very good. I can build one just about anywhere you want. Yes, I can, indeed. So you have to decide on where you want to live. Yep, okay. Uh, previously, you could not choose where your house location would be. Uh, it was predetermined, and in the GameCube game, it was always in the smack dab center of town. So now, luckily, as long as this doesn't conflict with any other bridges or uh, buildings in the area, we'll be able to pick exactly where we want to live, which is awesome. Uh, I'm feeling, you know, I love the beach, but just for location purposes and keeping everything uh, pretty you know, succinct in one area. I don't know what this is over here. This is the Welcome Amiibo edition of the game. Oh, this is a town square. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is. Hey, 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 focus, this isn't the time for dwaddling. You need to find a place to live, yes? I don't know what that is. I think that's like a campsite, like, thing? I don't know. The, like, Welcome Amiibo added a couple things and I haven't played it that at all. So I have no idea. Um, 
Let's see here. I get to sit on a rock? Ooh, I don't think... I wasn't able to do that before, I don't think. That's weird. Um, oh, yeah. A bridge is gonna need to be built over there. Um, how about right by the babbling brook here? What if I had a house right here, Mr. Tom Nook? Is that okay? Can I be right here? Yes, yes. So would you like to build your house here? Sure. Right here works. I wish I showed you exactly where the house would uh, take it, you know, take up the space, but there's a river nearby. If you like fishing or being in nature, it's a perfect spot. We need to move trees, flowers, and all that. Yep. If you're okay with that, we can start right away. Hold on a moment. Let's see. It looks something. Oh, it shows you exactly what it's going to look like. Wow. Cool. Wow. That, that's pretty good. I forgot about that. All right. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Oh, no, wait. I put... Hang on a sec. My bad. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to confirm that because I wanted a little bit of space on the sides there. That way I can actually move around and do whatever. So, yes, yes. You'd like to build the house here? Yep, I would. So, your house will eventually get a lot bigger, too. Uh, everything will get bigger. You get more uh, rooms for your houses. You get more stuff to put in those rooms. And it's a really... There's a lot to talk about with this game. I don't even know where to begin. So, I guess the origins of this. Like, Tom Nook used to be the person who was in the shop. And you would have to pay off the uh, house through Tom Nook as well. But now Tom Nook has uh, uh, gotten more equity into uh, his pockets. Uh, lots of money. He has, a, he has a lot of resources here to uh, open up his own real estate business. And be able to uh, be... The, the master key holder for all these homes and have all this uh, money to give out and and expect it to be paid back eventually. So, um, that's where he was. Uh, well, he was a shop owner before. Now he's the real estate agent. So we get a tent for now. Cool. Tents are fine. That, that's how that works in the real life, too. You put a mailbox there. Cool. So, uh, well, I'll be returning to my shop, so let's part ways. You head back to the town hall. Hmm? And now that's where you'll be living. You'll have to get registered as a resident and talk to Isabel. Cool. So, uh, we can do all sorts of stuff as of right now. Uh, there's ways to earn money. There's ways to, you know, go fishing and catch bugs. And there's, oh, man. So, what we'll do for now is go to the town hall. And I will just do things as they come about here. And explain things just as things pop up. Like, I'm not going to explain every single little thing, but, you know, certain things you got to just wait as they happen. Uh, or wait for them and take it as they happen. That's what I meant to say. Find a perfect spot? I certainly hope so. Wonderful. I'm very happy to hear that. You're in a temporary house. So, um, I think the house either gets built technically tomorrow or the day after my birthday is, in real life, one twenty three. 1996 there we go so it already passed but you know that's okay i think they do something special for your birthday i'm not quite sure what but usually they do they do something of some kind uh, there's all sorts of holidays and events that uh get into the game both based on american holidays and and international holidays so it's not just uh a bunch of you know, like Christmas and Thanksgiving related stuff. It's stuff from all around the world. So that's really cool too. So we earn meow coupons. Oh, I guess we're meowing it out in this game too, which you can trade for rare items over at the campground. Oh, this is new. Oh, I have no idea what this is. By the way, to be sure to check out your TPC every day to see what initiatives are there to offer. Oh, so this gives you tasks every day to do. Okay. Can you take a look at the map on the touch screen? Sure. So we got to go to the plaza that's down there. And there's actually a tree that is going to be planted over there. And it gets bigger and bigger as the years that you have your town go on. Now, we're not going to see the uh, tree get to full completion. And only recently could people get their uh, tree to full completion in terms of it being grown. Now, this tree will keep um, growing and growing and growing all throughout the years. And it maxes out at it being five years old. So on February tw uh, 16th, 2019, Brian became mayor of Boston. Cool. So what you can do is watch this tree grow a little bit 
over the coming months and years and all that. And the max is five years, so the game came out in 2013, and only in 2018 could people see the massive tree at its full size. But obviously people time travel and do that whole thing, so that's a entire other aspect of the game. But, yeah. So, this tree doesn't really do anything else. It's just there to look good. Uh, they'll have, like, town events in here. Uh, by the tree, you know, you'll get summoned there for whatever. Usually, if there's a special character appearing, you know, they'll be there. Just because it's, like, a, a, a center a center point for the town. So, uh, you can now save your progress and end the game at any time. When you want to finish playing, press start and save and quit. Which is very important to do, especially considering uh, it all happens in real time. So we have this area over here. This is a campground that now is where I'm not familiar with it. So if it's anything new, like that I've never seen before. Yeah, it's a campground. Okay. Kind of like what the, uh, the iPhone and Android app is like, I guess. So we'll talk to this guy over here. This good doggy. Harvey. Hey, pal, it's your first time here? Well, welcome. The name's Harvey. You can call me Har for short or Har for short. Plain old Harvey is fine, too. Now, some people might tell you that car camping is a real camping, but I say foo to that. We get a real nice crowd here. Just the lovely people from all over. They come to relax and meet no new folks. So don't be shy. Come on by anytime and say hello. I almost forgot. As a camp host, I run a little shop here, too. It's not much. Just a humble little outpost, but you're welcome to browse our wares anytime. Just one thing. Your bells are no good here. We only accept meow coupons. Anyways, nice to meet you. Cool. So, I don't know how to earn... Oh, we have ten. We have a lectern with a mic. Five meow coupons? Nah, I'm good. I don't want a, a podium for... Five meow coupons. I'm all set. What about this bale of hay? Rice bales. Wow, for five? I'm all set. I'm good. I don't need any of that nonsense. We are all set. So, what about this? Ooh, I can go inside the camper. Now, is this my camper or is this somebody else's camper? I don't know. Maybe it's Harvey's. Oh, it's somebody else's. Okay. Uh, sure, she likes to stir up trouble around the town. But when you see her out relaxing at the campground, she looks so... Well, she still looks pretty creepy. <laughs> All right. Cool. Oh, we can order the furniture. Yep. Okay. So this is cool that you can order whatever furniture you see in here for your own house. So I think this is what they did to add a lot of variety to other houses. So if we have the white brick wall, that's for three coupons. Gotcha. Okay. So it's all these things here that we can add to our uh, house eventually when we do get it. Uh, obviously, uh, I can't say I endorse the makeup case for what I have uh, going on eventually in my little uh, house, but now it's a tent for now. Um, I'm going to vote no on all of this for now, but yeah, you can order anything that's inside of here, including the patterns and all that sort of stuff. So, the game has officially begun, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you can wander around here. I'm sure people are going to, you know, pull up even more. And there's going to be even more villagers that come through here. Uh, I'm really not digging my look. Uh, that does not look anything like me at all, uh, from what I can tell. Maybe that looks like Benson, the former owner of this 3DS. But, you know, we're going to go... I'm going to shake a couple trees first. So, ooh, that's a perfect apple. What does that do? Ooh. Ooh. Excuse me. So, uh, there's a lot of ways to earn money in the game. One of them is uh, shaking all the trees and selling off all of the uh, fruit that's on the trees. Now, depending... Oh, you you sell a bunch of uh, rugs and stuff. I'm called Sahara. Uh, may I change your carpet wallpaper for 3,000 bells? Nope, I'm good. And I have a tent, so yeah, I can't talk to you right now. Um, you can go fishing, you can sell off flowers, there's seashells that Sally sells by the seashore. There's all sorts of ways to make money in the game, and obviously picking fruit is not the most ideal way, but every single time you have a new house, or a new town rather, uh, a new town has a different fruit to it. And there's like, uh, oranges and mangoes and bananas and everything like that, but those you get on a tropical island, that comes around a little bit later. But every town can have a different fruit, and let's say you go to somebody else's town, get that flavor of fruit, and you can either plant a tree and grow more, or sell it off, you will actually earn a ton more money. So I believe it's either 
what, 10, like 100 bells or like 10 bells for every single um, fruit that you sell off. But when it's a foreign fruit, it's 500 or it's 50. I think it's 500. So, uh, oh, we ran out of, okay. We already ran out of room. Awesome. So you see your inventory on the uh, lower screen down there. It looks kind of small, but you can see all the different apples that are on here, and we have a perfect apple that is right there. Um, I think that one, if we plant it, it'll actually spawn in more perfect apples. I've never actually found that in the game before, so I'll just plant it and see what happens. Uh, we'll go inside of here real quick just so we can figure out uh, what this is all about. This is retail, and I was never uh, super big into doing any of this, but Mrs. Reese, ma'am, I have something I'd like to sell. Oh, hello, Timmy. What did you bring for me to today? I have a tape deck I'd like you to look at. Oh, cool. That's from 1990s. 175 bells. Ooh, okay. So it looks like uh, this is an auction house that other villagers can come by and potentially buy your stuff for you, or from you. And other people from other towns, I think, can come in here too and buy stuff. Uh, that's on your auction as well. So, if you really want to rip people off, you can list something for whatever amount you want to, but obviously I'm not going to do that, and I don't think your villagers are that dumb to buy, you know, an apple for 10,000 bells. So, uh, my brother and I run a shop in the shopping district called Nookling Junction. Yes, Timmy and Tommy run that. Stop by our shop sometime. I'm pleased to have made your acquaintance. Good to meet you. These are Tom Nook's uh, nieces, or nephews, rather. I think they're his nephews, or his sons. I don't know. Could have sworn it was his nephews, but whatever. They look very similar, regardless. And they are the ones that you're going to be buying stuff from. So happy you decided to stop by our humble little shop. What an honor. Our shop buys items and furniture to resell here. And we pay a premium for high-value items listed on the board. Cool. And then, yep, we can put that on display. So, cool. So we can check out what it is here. There's a, um, a clothes closet. Yeah, it's one of those, like, Ikea-looking things that, like, you zip up, and it's not very permanent for a closet. But, yeah, it's a closet nonetheless. That's a bed right there. A chair, and then a plant. Cool. And this guy over here, he, Cyrus, he just sleeps forever. I don't know what, I don't know how to actually wake him up. My darling is extremely tired from working all night. So please let him get some sleep, okay? All right, sure. He last time I've been here like trying to get him to wake up, I I couldn't. And I tried looking up a video on how to do it. So maybe I'll learn by the time uh, this playthrough being uh pretty wrapped up, but we'll just have to wait and see. So now that we have a ton of fruit, I'm going to go over to Nookling Junction and sell it and show you the rest of the houses that are up there. Or rather, the rest of the buildings that are up there. Then we'll call it a video. So, we have the post office over here. Which, if we go inside of here, it'll be the location where you can pay off... Um, I think you can pay off your... Well, you can store your bells in the ATM over here. And receive mail from either other villagers or um, other people that exist in the actual world. So, if we tried to send mail, uh, we can send it to person in Boston, my future self. Yeah. Or I think if you have friends that can help as well, uh, save mail, ask about a present. You don't have enough room in your pockets to use downloadable item service right now. Oh, cool. So maybe there's some presents we can get, but they haven't probably supported this game in a little while. So maybe not, but they had like Splatoon gear. They had all sorts of cool Nintendo gear as uh, items before. So that happened before. I don't know if it happens currently, It'll most likely happen in the Switch version of the game, so look forward to that. And obviously Tom Nook here. Now, so, um, yep, we finished everything there. And now this is where you actually get to modify the exterior of your home. So eventually if you decide, hey, I hate the way this looks, you can actually change things. Oh, cool. What? Okay. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we can't actually do stuff until we pay off that debt of 10,000 bells. Which may seem crazy, expensive, but it's kind of not really. So if we get our house built, we can change it to be that exterior or have this door or that roof or that entrance or yeah. So lots of things that you can change over time. And everything that has a space in the shop 
uh, will change daily. So everything in the Tom Nook, uh, Nook's homes will change daily and everything in the Nookling shop that we're going to go to. That photo booth, honestly, is kind of useless. Um, I never use it at all. Uh, these are buildings that will open up eventually. They're not just decrepit on purpose. They do have a purpose. Go Nookling Junction here, which has a very similar look to the first Animal Crossing. It's like a, a shack, basically. It goes from being a shack-looking thing all the way up to a, uh, like a, like a super Walmart eventually. You'll, you'll see. I already met my brother Timmy. I hope you treat us both kindly. Cool. So, let's see how much this, um, perfect fruit sells for. Because I want to get those tools right there. The shovel and the, um, the net are going to be awesome for catching bugs and digging up items. So, I want to sell. Let's see. We can, um... Cooperating with retail and working as a minimum to provide this service. As such, the price you are paid, what we can accept might differ. So we humbly ask you to understand. Huh. Okay. So it looks like they're actually going to give me less for stuff if I sell it here. 480 bells. Nope, I changed my mind. So retail will probably give me 500. That's a fortune cookie. I think it includes an item in there. Oh... Oh, cool. So I have a ton of these coins, by the way. So two play coins, and I can get myself a new item. Cool. What I'll do is sell off one of these uh, apples to young Tommy right here. And then get myself the fortune cookie and actually open that. So, alright. Selling that off. Usually you earn play coins by walking around a ton. So, 80 bells. Oh, jeez. Alright. So, you earn them by walking around. It's basically your 3DS acts as a uh, pedometer. So, between walking around conventions and stuff like that, there's games in the actual 3DS shop that you can, like, use the coins in. But Animal Crossing probably is the best function for these that I've seen. So, if you bring us a lucky ticket inside, we'll exchange it for a special prize. It's so rare. I believe they get restocked daily. So, let's see what our first fortune is ever. What is it? It says... There was a fortune inside. Let's see. He who plays with fire would be wise to be flame retardant. Okay, well, you know, that makes sense, I guess. No, it totally makes sense. All right. Uh, how can I help you? Uh, I got a lucky ticket. And I think the different items mean different things, too. Or rather, the numbers mean different things for whatever item you get. So that's fortune uh, lucky number 13. So let's see what... Uh, number that is let's see number 13 uh congratulations price with number 13 is great a red pikmin oh great pikmin my favorite franchise yay and now you can actually go into here take this hat and drag it and oh boy i look like a little pikmin awesome cool i love pikmin love it all right let's go let's go to um the next shop over here uh this is the able sisters oh we actually can't modify how our face looks okay because up here is where you, you modify how your face looks but yeah we can't do that right now all right awesome so we'll go inside able sisters and then actually what we'll do the next episode is go into the museum because that actually goes into what we can do still for um for the you know today there is still stuff we can do not much but there is stuff we can do uh, are you the new mayor? Yes, I certainly hope I am. Somebody's got to run this place. As you can see, you like to uh, uh, have accessories and blah, blah, blah. So all sorts of um, clothes can be in here that you can buy. Uh, that white suit looks pretty dope, actually. Uh, the do Oh, it's a doctor coat. <laughs> it's a doctor coat. Nope, I'm good, actually. That's uh, not an option. All right. So let's see. That's a plain white shirt. That's cool. You know, classy classy stuff oh you can take them home for free also if you put up your own designs there people can like oh, okay cool so obviously um if we can make our own designs we're gonna make some bricks o'brien themed outfits and i'm gonna wear them because i'm obligated to a mario hat i need it i need it i need it how much 320 chump change baby oh and the korok mask oh Oh, my car's mask. Whatever. It's the same. It, I know it is. It's a Korok Seeds. Okay. All right. Yeah, I got to go sell some stuff. So, forget this Pikmin hat. I hate it. So, I don't hate. Yeah, I kind of do. So, what I'm going to do 
is end off this episode here. We're going to go into the museum, use uh, uh, the bells to buy a shovel, do some stuff. I want to thank you guys and girls for listening, watching, and tuning into the first episode of Animal Crossing New Leaf on the Nintendo 3DS. I'll see you again next time for more uh, relaxing Animal Crossing action. See you later. Bye.